What's up guys, Until Nick here, and welcome back to episode of Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we got the hammer in, I don't even know what this temple's name is, but we got it. And, um, yeah, we're gonna go face the boss now, as uh, we got the boss key and all that stuff. And so all that's left is for us to fight this boss, which looks like a giant golem. Eox, Ancient Stone Soldier, I think it said. Okay. Um. We go on top of him? He shoots arrow. Okay. He shoots arrows. Can I jump on top of him or no? I'm kind of confused on what to do. Can't do anything there. Unless can I hit him with the hammer while I'm in the air? Oh, okay. I can. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, <laughs> hits me right dead center. Like an inch off of it. <laughs> hits me again. And again. I think I hit him in the back now. So we gotta circle around him. Doesn't know where we are. Okay. So there's a few things that are in the back of him. That we have to get. So, top of his head. The back of his arms. And then we'll be set. Probably should have, like, done the back part first. And then done the front part. <laughs> Again, he hits me dead on. I also don't know if this is, like, his only phase or whatever. Alright, his head's pretty hard to hit. Damn, I'm like an, always an inch off. Yeah, his head's hard to hit because it's like at the top of the of everything else, and because of that, you don't have as much time because you're falling down. He also moves it uh, left and right too, makes things even harder. And I'm gonna get hit again. Love it. There we go. Okay, we got him. But now the question is what. Oh, okay, so now we hit him in the front again. Okay, I, I know what to do. So we have to hit all those buttons. What do I do now? Damn. Wow, that killed me. Wasn't expecting that, okay. <laughs> he just like tilts his head, he's like, boop. It's like, oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, what? We're back all the way here? 
Oh, oh I should have. That's my bad. Uh, I forgot about these traps. They're so early in the game. Uh, how do I get back? That's the real question. Alright, so downstairs here. <sighs> this is just annoying now. I have to head back. I wish I put like a restore point. Or even, uh, what else could I have done? I don't even know what floor he's on anymore. B3? Yeah, B3. So B2 in the middle. So yeah, let's go down floor. I don't even know if this will bring me anywhere. Also, what does this button do? Nothing? Okay. Uh, this is, yeah, this is, this won't lead us anywhere. So we can't use that. We have to use the downstairs, that's... Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get there. I mean, I could push this. Knock that out. And then... Is that downstairs or no? It is, okay. But then I think this just Yeah, this brings me to the other side. Stupid. Okay. Um How would I get back? I mean I guess I could hit this. Lower the water level. Cause I think that actually gives me an opportunity to go to the lower level. Really, I have to do this puzzle again? Uh, it's actually not bad, just... Boop. That's kind of stupid. Why... Why isn't that permanent? That's actually really stupid. It should be permanent. But for some stupid reason, it's not. Because the other thing that I could have done also was to read that sign, because then that sign would bring me back to the entrance of the, um... Oh wow, that's blocking it, really? Um, that would bring me back to the entrance of, um, the temple, and then it would teleport me if I needed help. Yeah, now that I know that I can actually hit spots like that makes things easier. I don't have to hit the panel, I can hit the ground as well. Makes things a lot easier. I wish I would have known that. They don't tell you. Anyway, hit this thing again. Lower the water level yet again. And uh, I think, yeah, this is where we can go downstairs now. Yeah, okay. Do we have to solve another puzzle? No, we don't. Okay. That's good enough for me. Hit that. Hit that. Like, now that I know what to do, I feel like I'm gonna beat him my first try. Or second try, I guess you could say. Um, I'll read the sign anyway. And hopefully, I don't have to step into the teleporter to activate the teleport on the other side. But, um, yeah, here we go. Second try. Let's go. It's closed. He awakens. So this time I'm gonna attack his backside first. And then I'll attack his front side. And that should do it. Cause it seems like he's a lot slower when he's uh when he's like in the beginning. Alright, got hit once. 
chance, that's okay. He's gonna shoot arrows out, that's fine by me, because now I can hit him in the back. Or not. I forgot where the placements were again. I guess that's a good thing about hitting me in the front first, because then you know the ones that are in the back. Which is kind of useful. And when does the arrow attack? It's pretty much just free hits in the back. Okay, I got hit twice. I'll take that. I'm also really, really surprised that there aren't any pots or anything around. Then again, I guess he would break it. Always oh, an inch off. Okay, so there goes the front side. Got hit again. I'll take it. hate that. His head's just like the hardest part to get. Actually, everything's hard to get. Why? He's so... He like does it so well, and I don't understand how. He's just like, boom, hammer fist. Keep missing again. can't get it why oh my god he's so good he does it just so good it's just boom hammer fist you get hit you just can't dodge it you're getting hit it doesn't matter all right there goes his head again This is just stupid. Alright, he's almost done. See, that's the only time that I actually don't get hit is from when he does the arrow attack. Alright, there we go. So one last time, just gotta hit him with the four spots, there we go. And then we wait for him to... Okay. Okay, the only does have a heart, which I'll take. Those are big arrows. Like chunky arrows. Okay, really? This is stupid. Oh my god. I'm better off just pressing the R button instead. Because, like, tapping the icon is just so inconvenient. Gonna, oh my god, I really did. I'm always an inch off. Finally, oh my god, I almost lost that. I was at half a heart. I think that was the power of the, um... The... What was it? The power? Uh, spirit? Because I think there would have been like a third phase or a third time I had to attack him, and jump on his head. But because I had the power spirit uh, upgrade to level one or level two, I think it's level one or level two. I don't know, but that I think helped me. Anyway, just like usual, we get more sand in our hourglass. Two minutes, I think, like usual. We got more sand for the phantom hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Yep. Gotcha. And of course, we get our heart container and a podium. <laughs> Alright, we got our heart container. And is this stairway? 
Nope, I just fall down. Oh, okay, it was a stairway. And we get the treasure, which, of course, is our third and final uh, metal, common metal, I forget what it's called. Ah, so you are the one who restored silence to our temple. My name is Muta. I am the king of the great Kabul kingdom. Only the true hero would have his would have with him the three spirits of the ocean king. Not to mention the ability to defeat that foul beast. I know what you seek. So, you say the ocean king is in dire trouble. I can't help in my current state, but your presence gives us gives me great confidence. I said got confidence confidence. I will give you uh, our sacred treasure, the aquamarine. I know it's not aquamarine. Aqu aqu aquanine. I guess it, yeah, it is aquanine. Uh, please take it with you. I will now return to my blissful slumber. We are all counting on you um, to help the Ocean King. And there we go. And we got teleport too. Okay. You got the Aquanine. It's one metal you need to make the sacred sword. Only a sword forged of the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. You did it. You got the pure metal from this island, Nick. Come on, let's hurry back to Linebeck. But what's inside here? That's just the. Uh... So you say the Ocean King is in dire trouble. I can't help you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a dead body, pretty much. <laughs> I thought like you could open it. And get treasure, but nope. Anyway, like you said, let's go head back to Linebeck. A lot of this is just backtracking pretty much now, I'm pretty sure. Because now we gotta backtrack to Linebeck, then we gotta backtrack to the Temple of the Ocean King, and then we have to backtrack through the Temple of the Ocean King to our current position, and then we can progress and I'll probably do all that off screen except for going to the lineback so yeah probably in the episode once we get the lineback but then after that I'll do all that other stuff off screen and then we will um, head on to the next episode what's that you got it you got the pure metal Nick well, what are we still doing here then? Let's go. All right, all right. Then let then get on board. We're setting sail. So actually, we have to set sail to that other guy to forge the sacred sword. So maybe I'll show that off first. I forget how far away that is. Let me go check my map. I forget what that what that area was. Alright, I guess I can't choose the islands. Definitely wasn't that. It might have been that. I, forget, I don't think it was. Okay, it's this one. So, yeah, we go over here. So, yeah, we go there, and then we go to the island. We get our sacred sword, and then we go to the Temple of the Ocean King. And then, actually, can we, now that I think about it, can we go teleport there? We can. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So, let me go ahead, slate. Or no, it's backwards then, so it's... There we go. It's so annoying because like they're so precise on the uh, teleported things or whatever you want to call them. Uh, first, I want to go get this treasure uh, that's right there, so I'll do that, and then we'll head to the island, get our sacred sword, and end the episode. Here we go. We got our five health, which is good. Doesn't seem too tricky too far, but we just started. 
Alright, that one blows up. That one also blows up. That one blows to the right. That one also blows to the right. Another one. So we got a couple bubble blowers. Why is it... Again. Just goes to the right. Or goes to the left, I mean. Why? Okay. Hello? That's not even me. That's you, game. Are you that dumb? Jesus Christ, I hate this. I literally hate this. If the, if the treasure chest is, like, on the right, it's going to the right. If the treasure chest is on the left, it's going to the left. Even if there's a barrier there, it's just gonna go on its own and do its own thing, which is so, so stupid. Like, I'm holding right here. It's not going to the right. It's gonna head to the left, and it's gonna keep heading to the left until it gets the fucking treasure. And it's so stupid. Now I get to control it. Alright. Finally, now I can actually do something. Okay. Head over here. I almost got hit there. Okay. A little bit slow. Oh, really? It's going up? I think we're safe. Yep, yeah, we got it. A little bit annoying, but we got it. And what do we get this time? A ship part, nice. Okay. I'll take that. Anyway, we're heading to Zuzu's Island or whatever his name is. I forget. But yeah. Also, did we just... No, we had... I was like, did we get five hearts for our ship? But we didn't. We actually had that before. We actually started with four. But then, um... We got five. I forgot. Because I thought we started with three. We got four. I thought we recently just got five. That's not the case. Maybe we'll get six with the uh, new ship part that we got. I don't know if it matches with anything, but it's a new prow, which might do something. I don't know. Anyway, let's head to the one place that we can, which is this area here, and talk to Zazu or Zuzu. So, you have found three pure metals, Nick. I'm not surprised. You have always been the true hero chosen by the Ocean King. Well then, please hand me the pure metals. The Crimsonine, the Azurine, and the Aquanine. I've never seen metal like this. I'll bet I can forge a mighty sword with them. But it will take some time. Three days. I come back three days later. Hey guys, uh, we're back. It will actually take time. Forging a great magical sword is not a simple task. Have some patience. Well. What, do I just not have a sword in general? Oh, I do. So I can have two swords now? Does Link dual s sword in this game? So what do I do now then? Alright, well, I guess as we're waiting, let's end the episode then. Um, so anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the Sacred Sword, apparently. And more things Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass right here on Tile Nick. Bye.